ready, rolling. Hey, welcome to Combative Wing Chun. Today I'm going to show you three techniques against bear hugs. <laughs> Alright, so three techniques against bear hugs. Let's go with that right now. There's two kinds of bear hugs in general. One that's over the arm and one that's under the arm. First of all, we're going to do the one over the arm. Now, a bear hug is a power move. It's not a really effective fighting move, but a lot of the bigger guys, they will use this because they're angry or they're just like enraged and they want to just control you. So a bear hug, first of all, you're going to do this. Grab under the hands with both hands, drop and lift like an umbrella. Okay, so first thing is grab and drop and lift like an umbrella. If you go look from the side, I'm gonna grab, drop, and shoot my ass back into the stomach, okay? Like this. So it makes him break his balance. See how his hands automatically lose grip? If you're lucky, he'll just lose grip like that. If you're not lucky, he holds the grip, that's fine. Now you're going to tilt a little bit and then sneak under here. And now you got this position, you can do whatever you want. If you wanna get control, you can do this, okay? And do a throw, whatever you want. But now you're out of the bear hug and that's the first important point is to escape from the bear hug. So that's the one that is over the arms. Hey, here's the one they do when the arms are holding your over the arms but lower. So you can't really lift it up because he's gripping really hard. You can't do that bump, right? You can't bump him back, okay? But what you can do is go low, grab his leg, close, and do a takedown this way. Right? A lot of times people want to get more leverage so they're going to put their leg between your leg. So when that happens, you can't get out. Just go low. You can grab his grab his pants, right? Uh, or you can grab the lower. You can grab the better. But if you can get his pants, both legs, and just just pull it back, okay? Step in his balls and just walk away. So that is the second technique. All right, here's the third technique. What if somebody grabs you under the arms like this, right? So. All right. So that's the third technique. Sometimes they will grab you under the arms. Let me show you how to do that. So he's grabbing you under the arms. What you want to do first is to drop your weight. And now you have your hands open, you can deliver some elbows to his head like that. After a couple of them, hopefully he lets go because he's worried about getting hit in the head, right? But let's say he doesn't let go, that's fine. So what I want to do is to grab both of them and feel and look down and see which one's underneath. So what I'm going to do is this one's underneath and I'm going to explosively pop this way. So if you, if you have, don't have this hand here just to show you what, what I'm doing is I'm holding this one and then I'm popping it that way so I want this these knuckles to go backwards like that so I'm doing explosively and that will put a lot of pressure onto his wrist here and then I'm going to turn backwards into this position okay from here I can elbow or knee him or just throw him down on the ground okay or just make him fall down on the ground this way but I get control in this position you can't really do much from here all right so one more time. So grip as hard as you can. Like hard, don't let me go. Okay, don't let me go. So I've tested this out. And it works quite well. The harder they grip, the more pain it causes to the attacker. Okay, so just use that, pop it. And you can test it out even the strongest guys. They can grip the harder to grip, you do that pushing, it's just too much pressure on the wrist and they have to let go. So test that out and hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you soon. I just showed you three techniques and escapes from hair hugs. Now bear hugs are usually done by larger attackers who want to control you so that another guy can punch you. So you need to make sure that you can get out though really quickly and fast. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. So check out some of my other self-defense videos on this channel. And if you this is your first time, make sure you subscribe to this channel to get more cool lessons like this. So we see you soon in the next lesson.